Welcome back to Road to 56 is Ireland. So, where I left off yesterday, I just got to this push the constitution after trying to go well over. Basically, just after this, I'm going to run in, run in here and get replace the monarch with president because it's quick. Extra boost the stability, which we do need. Then I'm going to go reclaim the treaty points, get the air axe out of the way, which will remove this trade war. And then I will see. But depending, I might probably go into this uh, expansive vein fracture, then go this one. Then I will probably go into those and modification because the extra slot is worth more to me than the two research bonuses. But once I get the research bonuses, I can access which plus 0.15 physical power gain. That's a flat increase. A percentage just flat straight but anyway. So nothing has happened in the world that's caused the AI Ash. That'll happen. And yeah, that is a mod I'm using. Funny. Coast Guard units to the coast, they're just going to sit there and Spar equipment is not being used yet, I think I go get the... their Engineer or Recon. Probably Recon for now. So yeah, actually now I think about it, one thing I was going to do was try going this path to get the extra convoy outpush. But that, but I'll do that at some point anyway. Means I have this political power, this cigarette thing. So wait. Yep, you can probably see how much Sun King and Tungutan are are trash talking each other. I shouldn't find it as funny as I do, but it does. Anyway, we now have our Silent Workhorse, which means physical power will increase by an increasing amount each turn. Change my mind on replacing the Monarch for the time being. We really need to get this out of the way so I can get rid of this, tra this trade war. Also as free civilian factories, which, as you can probably see, take forever to build in this game. Yes, an infantry, or I could do that's just great. That because it adds stability in the long run, and it stops them screwing us. One of the reasons I'm going for recon now is we already had this sniper team researched. Sorry, the game. 
This is something that Road to 56 adds. There's a bit of a thing and thing I've seen mine about how recon is actually kind of useless. This fixes that by sim by simply having your artillery, but by giving your infantry snipers. Such a simple little. Yeah, you know, the other thing that's um that that uh, that does is now what well, I forget is that it will buff soft the artillery soft attack by telling them where to shoot. We'll get this out of the way because we are going to need destroyers. Normally what I do when I'm playing as Ireland is I just go all in on submarines because there's no point in anything else. But if we had the extra output for that coming, I see no reason to not do that. Once. Come on, build you. I'm basically going to hold off on creating an intelligence agency until I start building these coastal forts because they don't take long to build and any delays of them aren't going to be as much as, say, factories. Well, some boys up. Basically, everything I'm doing here is just to get some extra special capacity. No reason not to go there. Buying back some of their trucks. Excellent. Just about reached the low manpower with a purely volunteer army. We're always around that, and I'll do it. Here. Now, this rubber plant was something that um, Road to 56 added. Let's get that out of the way because I have them as well. Search speed. I'll send the engineers. Not sure what. So these extra these extra buildings here, road to fifty six adds. They basically mean we can mostly independent, except for maybe tungsten, chromium. I want to buy one truck. Is that all we had left. It was. Nope. Maybe I would have actually let them have that one truck for free. And uh, um, press her costume. 
Ah, well. Fresh. Now, this would give us some extra manpower, plus 10% plus ten percent of our population, and we gain 100 a week. I'm going to go all the way for 175, get this instead. It's on C dominance now. I am going to get this signal company now. I know it's kind of wasting a slot that I'm probably not going to use. However, yeah, you can't see it here, but they've massively revamped the counterintelligence so you can get some extra... Yeah. I can't English this early in the morning. Anyway, the mod has significantly revamped in the spy agency, so there's extra, right, extra upgrades and branches you can add, one of which requires the um, signal company. Actually, that's going to be for a bunch of something else, like card card. Yeah, these Mayas do cost political power, so we are a bit there, but not the Yeah, one of the Mayas we could have for evil work is Harlins and Wolf, aka the people who built Titanic. Ah, wasn't really their fault. So the way I'm going to do this sea dock and stuff is probably go down convoy sailing, then convoy escorts. Carriers aren't going to be much use. I might just go into submarines then. Once I've got the initial surface fleet, set up our set up our hauling boats and get to work. No, we don't have any name to start with. So for now, it'll either be best of the best or academy scholarships. I'm going to go with the naval reform here and then later switch to... There's nothing here I particularly... But this just get, increases our XP percent. That's always... Grand Fleet... That makes us into a gain superior a superior tactician quicker on our inside. I think this might be possible or must still go with Academy Scholarships. Get them in young and get it. Probably the best way to do this. So for high command, I'm probably going to go with AT Lawler for fleet logistics. That means we just get some extra range in our ships. Vision recovery is always good. Infantry specialist, again, that's just a boring but practical thing to go with. Especially since this guy is already handling our main army. So once the if invasion starts, he'll start wrecking. But for now, I am just going to save my power to try and
Hearing. Do I want to go with a popular figurehead or caption of it? Well, we have a bit of a problem with stability, so I am going to go with the figurehead. Now, this has changed slightly. I think I'm going to go with the Anti-Air and Light Attack first, then Submarine Hunters. Basically, these destroyers I'm going to build are mainly meant as anti-submarine warfare vessels. But I will need to have some light attack, some torpedo attack. I'll sketch this out while I'm Go with the drum pattern sites because defense is what we're going to be doing a lot of, but it also provides breakthrough in the long run. Basically, the difference between the a division's breakthrough and defense stats is defense is how much damage they can shrug off while defending, breakthrough is how much damage they can shrug off while attacking. Then reinforce socks like these are pretty basic. Fast barrel forging, that means we can get stuff out quicker or get up to max efficiency quicker. Again, more efficiency and lower cost, what's not to like. Now for these two, bolt action rifles, get through them quicker because they're quicker to build, but we have less soft attack. Or semi also, the opposite. I usually go semi also. I'm basically role-playing this as, well, we cannot compete on quantity. So, we, we go full semi-auto, get the most bang for our buck. I think that's exactly why the Yanks adopted the M1 Garand in the first place in real life. I'm not going to go with that with machine guns for a while. Liability is always worth having. Then either more soft attack or some armor piercing. With armor piercing, just to make us more flexible all around. And this is just a, stra a straight up heart attack and piercing, so no reason not to go with it. This means they're going to be more. It's more expensive to produce, whereas I think this is probably what we need more. Then anti-vehicle landmines. Else, by the time I get there, it'll be late game anyway, and I production costs won't be much of an issue. I'll leave it for now. See, I'm going to have two factories on planes because we will need them a lot for our... Let's see if I can... This is down in Munster. Let's start this because there's one focus that requires it. Ugh, I did this with the other one. God damn it. Well, it doesn't really matter which of these two we go for first, but we we'll want to go for these first to make it quicker.
I have a bad habit of doing that, it's just clicking the wrong bio to upgrade. Yeah, I know. I'm just. Let's save the extra political power to get banned fascism entirely. Like. Guys, cavalry or most not using the trucks for much. It does have add quite a large buff to defense. I suspect this is basically jeeps with a machine gun on it. It's probably something we could put out. First, now we need to wait for up. Hmm, security inspections. Control against. Not that we like us enough that we can get this done. Just a case and that vibe. After I've got these two, I am going to go straight into this to upgrade our so a bit further. Okay, so our train manufacturer. Next reliability for support equipment. That's useful. That's nice. That's nice. Yeah, it basically. This is about getting as much support equipment out as possible and trains out as possible. And we also get this from building trains, so I'm not sure which way this which is rapid upscaling or gain. Yeah, what difference it makes. One thing that that this mod adds, which I really like, is in you can basically convert all of your older equipment. Like when we get a complete um anti-air module or anti-air unit. What we can what we can then do is just upgrade like I'm doing here with this instead of creating a complete fresh one. Just makes them just means they get upgraded quicker. After the basic depth charges, I am going to which is a basic torpedo, and this is just to provide some protection against cruiser, cruisers, battleships, etc. Not likely to do a lot, but... The reason why I'm going engineer here is they are very good at digging in. That's what we want.
we can probably start working on it. See if that's our actual security agency name, but that means we get an extra five percent output on this, which it's not gonna help right now because of this lack of reason. See? But we got things coming. That up a bit. There as well, yeah. Motorized or Motorized because it just it will allow them to defend better. And we have our very first close air support. The thing that Road to 56 has done is spread the training out a little bit. So it isn't just green regular trains. They have different subcategories within them. Just me it just means you get and I think it also scales a little bit quicker at the lower levels, so you can get from absolute green to slightly less green much more quickly. And now I can actually show you the intelligence rework we've done. The big one here is the, is this. Extra two operatives. That's huge. This does require us to first research counterintelligence and civilian department. But this one here, that requires us to research signal come one. Now our destroyers and convoys are going to be cheaper. Another mark not you right now. So the next advisor I'm getting is our elusive gentleman. He's probably standing right behind me this moment. Isn't. Nice. Our first spy. Master interrogator or seducer? Seducer means they're harder to be spotted, but later on we are going to be doing a lot of counterintelligence. Hmm. They didn't just. Ah, not this guy. Spain seems to be doing a better job than I expected. Gotta get the, this out of the way because anti submarine warfare is the what we're going to be doing. Oh, 
just had another save and I've been at this for about half an hour, so I'm gonna cut this video short and move on and move on to the next onto another, just to make it easier for myself to upload. So I'll be back and I'll see you in the next one.